A convicted killer sentenced to life in prison at 16 will walk free next month after the parole board approved her release. Amy Black was a so-called juvenile lifer, resentenced after the Supreme Court ruled mandatory life for juveniles unconstitutional. New tonight at 6, the family of Black's victim shared their outrage at Black's upcoming release with Target investigator Susan Samples. I don't remember his voice at all. I don't know what he sounded like. Amanda Van Bogelen was just seven years old, her brother 12, when their dad, David Van Bogelen, was robbed and murdered just before Christmas 1990. He doesn't get to know his grandkids. He didn't get to walk me down the aisle because of what she chose to do. 16-year-old Amy Black and her boyfriend, 19-year-old Jeff Abramson, were sentenced to life for luring Van Bogelen to the couple's apartment to rob him. Black helped beat Van Bogelen. Abramson stabbed him before the couple dumped his body on a Muskegon 2 track. Fast forward 32 years, and the victim's family learned of Black's impending release from the defendant herself during a restitution hearing in late July. Yeah, I was like, this when she blurted out that she gets out September 7th. They had no clue. That was infuriating. It's the scariest moment of my life. The Van Bogelins are angry the state failed to inform them. We're the victims. And outraged at the Supreme Court's 2012 ruling that mandatory life for juveniles is unconstitutional, in part because it fails to take into account their level of maturity. This was Amy Black in 1992. I accept responsibility for the part that I did. And I know I was wrong. I feel I should be punished for that part. But for natural life, oh, man. Three decades later, at Black's resentencing last August. I didn't really understand the horrificness of the crimes that I had committed. The Van Bokelins refused to look at the woman who stole the all-around good guy, a jack-of-all-trades, fixer-of-all-things, who took care of his family, went to work every day. And I understand why you can't face me, and I understand the things that I did were terrible. The truth is there will never be a day that I won't feel the same pain that I feel every single day or the same guilt or the same remorse that I'm going to continue to feel for the rest of my life. There's nothing we had talked about doing, but as soon as she got up there, she was going to, I just turned my back, plugged my ears. I have nothing that I want to hear from her. People should remember his name and not hers. And that's why I share a story. The Department of Corrections said because the crime happened so long ago, the parole victim notification system may not have been set up back then. Amy Black is set for release from Huron Valley the week of September 5th. Black's attorney told News 8 last year that her client is incredibly remorseful and ready to return to society. Sue and Michelle.